Hi guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to discuss about a REST, REST component. So how we can use our Apache Camel as a REST consumer. So I, ha I have a different REST URL. Maybe it is running in the cloud or it is in the different project. Okay. I need to consume that. My Apache Camel project needs to consume that URL. Okay. So how we can handle that? Let's see that one in this tutorial. Okay. So for that first step, what we are going to do is that we are going to develop one project. Okay. So which, which will produce the rest API. Okay. So I'm going to develop a simple project, which spring boot. Okay. With spring boot that will produce the rest APIs. Let's go and develop quickly. So I'm going to use the spring initializer for that. Okay. So let me go here and I'm not going to change anything. I'm just giving us a com dot tech bus blocks dot uh, rest producer okay okay so this may be let's give it as a rest okay so project name let me give it as a producer okay so demo project for rest producer okay so let me give it at let's 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 produce okay so yeah rest producer okay let me give it out okay okay so now i'm ready with the what is that rest producer okay so here also let, let me give it to this rest producer okay this will be helpful for us to understand quickly right okay so this is my project i'm going to jar file and lavan okay java lavan everything is fine so this is the project okay which will produce the rest okay so let me give some let me develop, let me import some dependencies, let me dev tools. First of all, spring web. Okay. Let's go by one, one by one spring web. Okay. Search it. So you can download this and let me go with dev tools. Okay. Second, you can see here spring dev tools. Okay. So you can download that as well and anything else we need it. Uh, okay. Activator. Okay. Spring activator also uh, let me include. So hope this is fine, right? So dev tools say it. Okay, that's fine. Let me generate this project. Okay, so so I'm not changing anything. Maven and uh, Spring Boot latest versions and uh, Java. Okay, so packaging is Jar and Java version. Let me generate this for, for project. It will download here. Yeah? Nice Spring Boot skeleton code. Spring Boot project actually, right? So it will give the nice Spring Boot project. Okay, let me open this. Okay. Yeah. My project was, let me extract this. Okay. Basically. Okay. So now I will copy this project. Okay. I let me cut this and let me put it in my, basically I'm using the separate folder. Okay. So the Apache camel and projects. Okay. So let me put it in this repo. Okay. So this will be rest producer. Let me copy this project URL. Okay. First of all, let me build this project. Okay. So that it will uh, clean install so that it will generate the target folder for us so that we can run it out. Okay. So we can directly go and build like this also. Otherwise, if you see my older videos, I will do basically from Eclipse tool as well. Right. So this is also one of the easy ways we can do it out. Okay. Okay. So let me close other all stuffs. Last video discuss about Kafka, so I'm just stopping that. As of now, that is not really good. Okay, so yeah, so okay, build was success. Now let me copy the path. Okay, rest producer path. Okay, let me go to my Eclipse. Let me just right click this import. Okay, import to say existing Maven project, select next, let me give the path. So then finish. So it will download that it will import the project into Eclipse. Okay. So as I build it outside itself, it was quickly imported actually. Okay. Let me try to run this project. Sorry, run as Java application. Let's see that this project is working or not, right? So we downloaded from internet. Obviously, 100% you should work actually, right? So you can see that started target at 8080. 
started a rest producer uh, in 4.2.4 seconds that's fine okay cool let me change this port basically okay so 8080 it should be my apache camel also same port right we should not use the same port for two applications we cannot use okay so to change that what we can do very simple configuration okay server so in application dot property server dot port okay server dot port let me give it 9090 okay so let me restart it again and let's try that it is reflected or not okay if you know about spring boot i think definitely you should know about this as well see now you can see that it is running in the tomcat 9090 okay let me stop this project nothing need to worry about it now let's do it simple class which will produce the rest api right what i'll do let me right click this let me create a package okay and the package should be like a rest controller right so com dot tech bus blocks dot rest dot rest producer dot controller right me okay so this is fine let me finish this okay let me create a new class okay class so basically we need to create a class okay which should be rest controller okay so so from that controller if somebody is hitting that controller it should produce the res response and it will give to the respective person who is hitting that okay so what basically we can generate actually let me give some dummy data let me create a method called um, uh, what is that what we can say uh, car details okay let me give some dummy names car details okay uh, finish okay so this is a normal class basically right so i need to make i need to do some changes and and i need to make this classes what is that some rest rest uh, controller right to make it rest controller simply add the annotation called rest controller that's it guys nothing is to worry about it so this is the annotation will take care of changing this class into rest controller okay then i have a method public okay so what i will do i will create one more package and i will cre create a class called class for a car right so let me create a package called com dot tech plus blocks dot rest dot rest producer dot bin some dummy bin okay so the bin should have a class called car right car so class name for the bin should be car so what are the fields you need it in say the car you can create it out maybe i can give it as a car uh, so let me give it a uh, like private integer sorry private string car name okay then private string car model okay private string uh, sorry private integer release version release here okay that yeah, this is fine right so car car what will give company name car name and company name right so this is the three fields i am expecting okay so to producing the rest api so let me go and source generate the getter and setter okay so selecting all these three fields i am just creating the getter and setter for this okay that's fine okay so what i'll do so now this is ready now let me create a one simple constructor so that i can easily push the data right generate custom constructor using fields okay select all generate okay so this is cool so i have a class with three variables right so car name car model and company name okay so here when people are hitting uh, so public what is that uh, car okay so i need to get details okay so get when they are calling for a to get the car details so what basically i need to do i need to return the let me import that i need to return the car uh, car details right so how can i do that let me create a car object here cr equal to new car of okay add or even to match okay so i need to pass the while creating i need to pass the three stuff one is first one is what is that 
car name, car model and campaign name. Okay. So let me give the car name as shift maybe. Okay. So car model maybe let me give the ZDI. Okay. So let me give the company name right Suzuki right. Okay. So and I should return this. Okay. Add a return statement. That's all. Right. So when people are calling this get details method, I should return this car details basically. Correct. Okay. So this is fine. So how can I do that? So so this is the rest controller. Okay. When people are calling in this in this method, so they should give the URL as okay request mapping. So this is the place where we can give the URL basically. Okay. So API slash cal. Let me give calculate. Sorry, let me give car. Okay. So if they are giving this name, okay, so they can get the details of this one. Okay. So let me give let me specifically mention this as well. So this should be get mapping. Okay. I, I don't want to should be post or any method. Get method, you should okay. So get method and slash. Okay. So when people are getting the calling this API. So without any parameter, so for the get API, it should return this. Okay. So this is fine. I done with that. Let, let me run this application and see is this working or not as a first step. Okay. Let's hit this rest producer application. Okay. So in the meanwhile, let's, let me open the postman to hit and get that. Okay. Even we can directly hit in uh, browser as well. Okay. But let's see that. Okay, Tom Gato started 990. Okay, let me go and hit here actually and let's see 9090 slash API slash car, right? Okay, nothing was running. That's fine. Cool. <laughs> okay, let's try with our this as well. Okay, so let me go to create a new request localhost. nine zero nine zero right so then we need to give the what is that that path whatever we gave the right so maybe what we gave it api slash car right okay i'm just hitting that 404 it is not found why it is not found what mistake we done it out let's quickly review it okay so basically we need to give the slash here as well Okay, let me save it. So obviously our server will restart automatically. Okay. So now let me go and hit directly in browser and see. Browser is still not working. Why? Okay, let's see here. API and car not found. Why? Okay, so I need I, I missed this slash at uh, the last. If you see that, so the get mapping, we are expecting just a slash, right? After this car we should expect some that uh, dummy slash okay if may we re remove this we can get the let's renew and try it okay i'm just removing and try it okay you can see that now let me go on browser let me hit it out okay so we are getting the details of the car okay so now we are ready with the what is that producer application okay i'm happy i'm first step i done it out the second step so this is the application is ready Okay, now I need to when I need to call this AP from my Apache camel basically what I need to do. Okay, so as the first step, right? So what we can go go to prom prompt XML. We need to add the dependency for this HTTP methods. Okay, so for that I'm just copying the old dependency. I'm just pasting here. So instead of Kafka, I'm just changing to HTTP. Okay, so this is the HTTP methods, right? Basically, we need to call the method so i'm just adding add this okay so now let me go here my maybe let me create a new router okay so let me go uh, rest consumer router okay so this should be consume that right so route builder so this should be consume the rest apis which was producing from 
other system correct so that is what basically we need to do how we can do that okay so let me make sure that i am adding the component annotation for this okay let me import that as well okay so this is fine then let me call this router every maybe every 10 seconds okay test rest api okay so nice name right so <laughs> Okay, so period should be like, let me give it a 10 seconds. Okay, 10 seconds. Yeah. So dot. So uh, let me just verify that using some logs. REST API calling. Okay, so this log should come. Then I'm what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, set the header. Actually, so maybe if when you are using your application, right? maybe you can use like post method or uh, like a put method or delete method so that time you need to mention that which method you are using right so as of now we are having only um, get method in the producer but when you are using maybe you can develop a different different methods in the producer right so that time you need to mention which method you are going to use right so for that i am going to mention here okay so exchange.http method should be simple get method okay as of now i'm going to use very get method if you are using post you can simply mention post here nothing else okay so as it is a getter method i no need to pass any body okay i can directly call the method okay how can i call that okay so using the url right so hold on can i directly put the url here obviously you can do but that is not a good practice right let's try that that as well so what i'm going to do I'm just copying this URL. I'm posting here. Okay. So now this will call that API and API should return something, right? So that's fine. Now let's run this and let's see. First, let me run the producer application. Okay. So so that that so that it will be ready. Okay. So producer application is running. Now let me run the Apache Camel. Okay, one route was there. Okay, cool. REST API is calling. Okay, it was called, but it is giving response or not. We don't know. It is calling second time. It is giving response or not. We don't know. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm, what I'm going to do, I need to get the response and I need to print it out so that I can make sure that my API, my stuff is my whatever write, I write the code, it was working, right? So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the process. Okay, so processor, I'm going to add the processor here. Okay, so the processor will tell us it is it was get it, it was able to get the response and it, it, it can able to print or not that response. Okay, so inside the processor, okay, so this is the processor method. Okay, inside that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the output in the string format. Output equal to okay, I'm going to get the exchange dot. Okay, so get in dot get body so from the body i'm trying to take it out so what is the format i need string dot class i need it in class string format okay i'm let me try to print this system dot out dot print ln okay output is so this is the output output needs to print the whatever we are getting from the another application right so so this is the camel application and this is the rest producer application so whatever here we are getting it should print here see after you reached uh, added automatically system is restarted the printing output is you can get the response right so every every 10 seconds every 10 seconds it is calling the api and it can able to get the response so now we can confirm that our apache camel can consume that rest apis correct so what I done basically, let me quickly go through that for you. I'm, I'm developing a separate application to produce the API. Okay. So there I'm just giving, I have a car controller. So using the rest controller, I'm annotating this as a rest class. I'm giving the rest mapping. This is the URL. So this is the method which, which will return that. Okay. So this is the rest producer. I developed it. Then coming to Apache camel project. First step I done it out. I added the 
HTTP dependency. Okay, as we are going to interact with the HTTP, so I added the HTTP dependency. Second step, what I done is that I added the REST consumer router. So from that every 10 seconds I am calling the router and in the two method I am directly call, giving the URL and from the using the processor I am trying to get the URL, uh, get the values whatever returning from the URL and I am printing out. So exchange object is helping us to get the values. Okay, so hope you understood right. So as you as I told earlier itself exchange object will track all the object I mean all the uh, values whatever we are uh, discussing communicating so exchange object will hold all that actually so that exchange object get body I'm connecting a string and putting here and I can able to print that so whatever rest API is producing I can able to consume via Apache camel okay with this one line of code right so rest API part developed that is obviously it is a different stuff okay so but in the Apache camel we done only one line of code maybe two line of code which is helping us to consume the rest apis okay hope you understood right thanks guys thanks for watching bye bye